Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So, you know what today is. What we're gonna do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. That's right, it is Throw Back. Thursday and on this day I like to dig deep into the crates go back to the days of yesteryear and play you some classic hits now this first one that I am going to do um, and a couple of ones that I'm going to do today are from 1989 and this is from Dion Estes now Dion Estes you know when I go to do these videos of course I do some research and I did not know a couple of things the first thing is that I did not know that Dion Estes was actually in Wham! He was the bass player in Wham! And that's why I'll be showing pictures of him in Wham! when you see Ant and Andrew Ridgely. And that's how you know it's Wham! But he also played with George Michael when he did his first two solo albums and went out on tour with them. So I was like, well, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, the other thing is that I did not know that he passed away back in 2021 at the age of 65. And I was like, damn. Now, here's the thing. The song that I'm going to play is called Heaven Help Me. Or it's called Heaven Help uh, Heaven Help Me. Heaven Help Me. I had it right the first time. So, um, when this song first came out, this is 1989. I was living by myself. I was on bare minimum. I don't even think I had a TV in 1989. So, I wasn't watching MTV, I was listening to the radio a lot, and I thought this song was a white guy. I really, really did. And it wasn't until many years later when I actually could afford cable and things like that that I was like, oh, the dude's black. I thought it was a white guy, and you know, I didn't even know that George Michael sings backup vocals on this track. So, uh, I was like, that's really, really cool. Now, this song, Heaven Help Us, let's take a look at what it did on the charts. And Balamo, it went to number five on the US Hot 100, number three on the US R&B, number three on the Adult Contemporary, number four in Canada, and number 41 in the UK. Now that's a pretty big deal. Now I never heard anything else from Dion Estes after this, and it shows that he had maybe another mild hit on the R&B charts uh, off of the same album, but there's really nothing after that. So, um, I did, eh, at the time, I was like, this song is a little light. But then, like I said, once I saw who he was, I was like, oh, okay. Somebody else can sound like George Michael. Because George Michael sometimes sounds like he's black. And here's a black guy sounding like George Michael who's white. I was like, okay, that's cool. So, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm doing at least 10 videos each and every week. Now, it might look like a different lighting in here, because it is 4 o'clock, and the sun is out. It's like 80-something degrees outside, but inside my apartment, and I don't even have on the air conditioning, it feels like it's maybe about 60 degrees, so that's why I I got this on. So, without any further ado, here is Dion Estes and Heaven Help Me. It's showtime. Strangers, 
they were getting ready to play some Robert Plant after that video. Now, I forgot all about Night Tracks, man. That was the show, because, um, you know, back in the day, MTV, you know, really wanted only to play like white artists until, you know, Epic with Michael Jackson. They're like, look, if you're not going to play Michael, we're going to pull all of our art artists off of MTV. So, you know, that's when they started playing the Princes and the Michael and, and other people because of Michael. Now, throughout, you know, they really didn't want to play really any black artists. And so, others channels like there was New York Hot Tracks and then there was this Night Tracks and then there was other ones uh, other uh, channels that would actually play videos but they would only be at like certain times of the day so normally like if you went out to the club and you got home at two o'clock you might catch you some Night Tracks or New York Hot Tracks or something like that it was pretty cool now that I know he's the bassist and I listened to the bass guitar in this song. The bass guitar is, is pretty slamming. I mean, he's not slapping or anything. He's doing this. But there's a lot of change-ups. And there's a lot of complications to the bass guitar playing on this song. So that adds it. I also uh, wonder, because this is the late 80s and the, whole, the uh, earlier parts of the 80s and the late 70s, that's when they were using saxophones. But this one used a trumpet you know, as of, you know, where a saxophone would be. I wonder how that would sound with the saxophone. Who knows? But it didn't sound bad with the trumpet, and whoever was playing it sounded great. So, there's that. You know, again, I did not know he was black. Um, I knew that it's kind of sounded like George Michael, but I knew it wasn't George Michael. But, you know, it's almost like... I should have known because it's almost like Mike uh, Rockwell, somebody's watching me, and then you realize that, you know, that's Michael Jackson, because Michael Jackson, you know, no nobody else can sing like Michael. I always people had tried even there was an album that was put out right after his death where it was uh, somebody saying it was Michael Jackson but it was somebody else um, who I guess the family allowed this dude to do this and put out this album it was you know some of those songs on there were horrible I just hope that the truth comes to light because I was never proven to me it was never proven to me that that was Michael's voice yeah and I was like so where's the originals and it was like this was cut up and it was so much auto-tune or melodyning or whatever mm -hmm. that was. And I got what they gave me, and that's what I worked on. But it is what it is. So if you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.